Hey Glambies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Las Vegas. <laughs> Today I am bringing you another video and this time it's doing glam makeup on this beautiful client. I'm starting off right away using the eyebrow pencil in dark brown by AOA from shopmessay.com. I know it looks aggressive how I'm moving her face around, but I promise it's not. Now I'm taking any concealer, I say any because you can just use whatever you have. And I'm um, using a little bit at a time to help clean up and shape her brows better. I don't want them to look carved or aggressive, so, um, but I still do it on the top and the bottom. I believe I'm using the MAC Paint Pod in Soft Ochre to prime her lid for eyeshadow. And I'm gonna be using a, like a fluffy dome brush from Morphe to blend it out. So I'm using the Desert Dusk Palette by Huda Beauty and I'm starting out by using that amethyst purplish color. Well, it's called amethyst and I'm trying to do like a, um, like a outer corner kind of upwards towards her tip edge of her brow. I want to apologize for the lighting. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It comes out really good on my phone and then when I transfer it to this editing app, it like washes it out. <laughs> I don't know why. And also the angle of the recording of this video, we were kind of in an awkward position and I couldn't place the camera in a better spot. <laughs> okay, so next I'm taking the color, the color saffron and placing it um, right next to the first shade, which is amethyst. And I just go in using a very light hand. Keep dipping into it, obviously to do the other eye. <laughs> there I go with my aggressiveness. Just kidding, it wasn't. <laughs> now I'm just trying to kind of soften up and combine both shades to kind of so to make sure that there's no like to fine line make sure that it's well blended now i'm taking this um shimmery kind of orangey coppery color it's called Tur the turkish delight <laughs> and i'm placing it on the entire lid I wanted more pizzazz with that color, so I went ahead and took a different brush, a little bit more flat, and decided to spray it, and then um, to make it more shimmery on her eye. And you, I don't think you can tell on this video, because again, it's for some reason, it's washing out the colors. I'm going in again with the amethyst shade and I was just trying to make sure that that um, color wasn't lost to give her more depth, more vaboom, pizzazz, whatever. <laughs> now I'm 
Now I'm taking Blazing, which is the lighter orange or brighter orange, I don't know, to try and diffuse um, the shades on the top of her lid, kind of to give her that transition. And can you tell the difference of how it looks on the video versus the little picture on the far right corner? What a difference in the lighting and the color. I don't know why. Tell me why. What am I doing wrong? I had a lot of fallout, I think, with the shimmery shades, so I'm just cleaning it up. So always remember, if you're doing your eyeshadow and it gets everywhere, all over the place, who cares? You can wipe it off. Anyway, here's the look. Um, one side looks brighter than the other, and the other one looks more true. And that's because we were sitting in front of a mirror and the part that looks more washed out is where the light was hitting her. So anyway, I'm using the e.l.f. liner on her and it's so easy to do a liner with this. I recommend it. Get you some. Wait, did that make sense? I meant the mirror was lit. Literally, it was a lighted mirror. Anyway, I'm taking the foundation for, um, from MAC in NC37 and this was hers um, I think she wanted me to not waste mine which I wouldn't have been <laughs> I really enjoyed doing this as I'm editing this video the parts on the bottom of the screen looks true to color and then on the screen it's not but anyway <laughs> I'm using this um brush also aoa from shop messe and it was part of the haul if you missed it i will try to link it above in one of the note cards but oh my gosh i ended up leaving this brush with her because she really liked how it felt <laughs> so i'm like it's only two dollars like let me get me another one i just left it with her but i'm definitely gonna be ordering another girl get you some so easy to blend with it and um get all the little nooks and crannies <laughs> anyway now i'm using what can, oh i'm using the concealer by tarte and it's like a little pot but um i love this concealer i feel like it looks so natural however it's like 30 bucks is it worth it I feel like it doesn't even last that long because I love using it. You lose track of how much you're using, but um, I love using it, period. Okay, yes, I think it's worth $30, but I just, I need another one. That's the sad part. Anyway, I'm placing um, the concealer on all the place, like in the center of her face to have the light catch that area of her face. Now I'm blending all the areas where I place the concealer with that faithful brush. Now I'm setting her concealer with a banana powder and I'm not necessarily baking because I didn't want her face to crease. Or is this that way? I'm, uh, anyway, <laughs> um, get it girl, she's jumping out. But um, she tends to be oily in her T-zone, like super oily. So I just wanted to make sure that the concealer wouldn't like move around on her. I should have used this in the intro. I regret it now. Now I'm taking a contouring powder. <laughs> 
um, palette that um, I actually gifted her. And just placing it, it placing it um, on the outer part of her face. You know how we lighten the center and now we want to kind of tone down the outer part of her face. I'm just chiseling her nose out a little bit um, we actually like the shape of her nose so we didn't want to necessarily like change the shape but we did want to kind of add some depth and definition to her nose now for the blush I'm using the one that I got from the wet and wild Haul. And if you missed that, I'll place a card up above. Y'all need to check this out. When applying blush, you want to go up from your cheek, apples of your cheek to the temples. You never want to bring down your blush, then you're going to sag your cheek. I'm taking amethyst and I forgot what other color I used to um, smoke out her lower la lash line and I'm using kind of like a pencil brush is what it's called because it's pointy yeah I'm also using this um, black liner in her inner lash line and that is just to smoke out her and deepen the the sh shadowing of her bottom lash line now I'm dusting away all the loose powder um, and just kind of blending all the products in together to make it one cohesive look and so that it doesn't look like she's wearing all this makeup now I'm spraying her with Morphe setting spray continuous spray I believe and I think I she ended up eating some <laughs> by accident now again that um, palette that I gifted her with the contour powder also had some shimmer what's it called highlighters highlighters I'm using those highlighters so um, the lighting doesn't allow for like great visibility of how sparkly and shimmery not sparkly it wasn't sparkly it was like shimmery it was like a nice glow okay so anyway the highest part of her cheekbones is getting lit Her cute little butt nose I put it down her the bridge and also on the tip of her nose and lastly I'm taking desert sand on the top or like right underneath her eyebrows and that's just to kind of finish off the eyeshadows I know in this voiceover it sounds like I don't know what I'm doing, but it, I did this makeup look a week ago, so I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and now I'm taking, oh man, I don't know what shade I use, but taking probably a shimmery shade in the inner corner of her eyes. And I was trying to make sure you guys could see that. Um, but yeah, it helped to open up the eyes more. Now I'm using a lash that she had. I had a pair of lashes to put on her as well, but we opted for hers. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to apply false lashes on yourself, two different ways, let me know down below. I had her do her own lips because I thought it'd be easier. <laughs> For you guys to see it otherwise i think i'd cover her whole face with my body anyway here's the final look you guys sorry it looks washed out you'll be able to see in the final pictures the true lighting but anyway thanks for watching please remember to subscribe and ring the bell for more videos like it if you liked it and i'll see you in the next one bye glambies why am i waving